what I try to incorporate, even though I tend to teach a lot of large lecture classes, what I try to incorporate are um, opportunities for me to float the room. So um, whether it's something fairly simple, like we're just going to do a concept test over you know, the last 10 minutes worth of material to see whether students are, are sort of keeping up with what we're talking about or not. And uh, that often gives me a chance to, um, you know, we'll, they'll look at the concept test, they'll vote on what they think the right answer is, usually there's enough disagreement that there'll be an opportunity for students to talk to each other. And as they're talking to each other, that's, that's kind of my time to just sort of wander and, and kind of listen to those discussions and, and interact with students a little bit. And so as I'm walking by, students will very often, hey, wait a second, and that just gives you the opportunity to really, even in a large class with you know, 80, 100, 120 students, still pick out some opportunities to, to have some small group interaction, some small group instruction. I nominated Professor Chastain because of his character. He's humble, he's down to earth, he's funny, and he taught me a lot that I never thought I would learn. Certainly I was, I was very pleased uh, with the students, you know, the last year being my first year here at the university, I you know, wasn't, uh, certainly wasn't expecting to have a, a group of students sort of nominate me for, for what's a, a fairly large institutional award. Uh, so certainly that, that made me quite, <laughs> quite proud. Uh, and I, you know, I, I hope that it points to the fact that the, you know, the things that I'm doing, the students, students appreciate. So that's, again, sort of it's just, a, just kind of feels good to, to know your students think of you in a, in a positive way.